So something a bit different this time around. Um, obviously last time we were out with the uh, Mavic 2 Pro uh, capturing the mill. This time we are taking out the Mavic 3T. So as you can see here, it's got the RTK unit on the top, uh, but we won't be using the RTK this time around because uh, we don't have the base station, although we have tested it with the base station and it, and it does work. Um, so uh, we should be heading out to the mill and uh, grabbing some thermal data uh, to bring back and process. Okay, so as we already said, we're out in the field today with the Mavic 3T. So as you can see here, I've created a new mission file, the mill 2023 E2E, so end to end thermal. Press OK there. Yes, we want to open that now. And there she is, the mill as per. So what we're going to do, we're actually not, obviously not going to do a 3D mission because thermal won't render 3D. So we're actually just going to do a standard mapping mission. So we'll create a, create a map. Obviously we only need Actually, you only need the mill. We don't really need anything else. Let's bring that out there. There we go. You see, 164 feet, a bit much. So we're going to pop that back down to our standard. That at 80 feet. Now we'll actually put IR camera, so we now have Mavic 3T IR. Our current start point is there. We'll put smooth corners on. We'll go show planned images. So there we go, there's our images. All the images we'll be getting. Got a GSD of 3.5. Might be able to bring our altitude down a little bit to 75. That should be fine. Obviously we can change this in the field on the smart controller. So what we need to do now, press done there. There's our map. And then obviously we can send to app. Now this just tells you how to send it to app. What it'll actually do is automatically sync it to the application. So. That's that done. What I'll now do is I'll fire up the smart controller and we will sync this current mission over to the controller and then head out into the field. So now we need to sync our mission files from the hub. So we'll go in, go to settings, go to apps. We need to close down the DJI Pilot 2 app to get Hammer to work. Open that and we go to force stop. So we can go back and that will allow the Hammer app to work correctly. So we'll go over to the Hammer app, open that up. As you can see there, it gives you a reminder, which you can also do it from there too. Press OK. A quick look at our settings. Oh no, don't want to log out, cancel that. Then we go to our folder and press the cloud icon. And that will download our mission files to the smart controller. So you go, all downloaded, press OK. You see there in the left corner, the mill 2023 E2E thermal. So open that up and there it is. That has pulled the mission down from the hub. So we can open up, we're gonna change that to feet because I work in feet. And scroll down, make sure it's all come across correctly. That's our drone settings. And press done on that. Go to our cog icon, these are our mission settings. Make sure they have all come down correctly, which they have. So there we go, compress done at the end, and that's complete. So here we go, there's our kit. So we've got our smart controller, and we've got our Mavic 3T, the M3T. So um, we get this all packed up, which it pretty much is, and um, head out. So in the car, ready to head off, got the kit, 
Um, but before I go, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to uh, iRed for the loan of the uh, Maverick 3 Thermal. Um, so yeah, huge thanks to them. Um, so get the car started up and we'll, um, we'll head off. So here we are again, the mill, uh, but this time we're gonna do some thermals. So uh, there she is, Let's just turn her around. So yeah, today's flight is literally just a mapping mission over the top of the mill to grab some thermals. So I'll get set up and we'll uh, get the show on the road. So the good thing with the Mavic 3T is that it's an all-in-one package. So I've got my smart controller, got my drone, don't need any iPad or second controller or anything like that. Uh, it literally just set up and away you go. Shortens the, uh, shortens the time by quite a bit. So um, I'm going to get all this rigged up. I'm going for a quick test flight over the top of the, uh, over the, top of the mill and then um, we'll run our mission. Just a quick demo of how to switch between IR and visual. The little white icon in the top of the video feed, if you press that, that switches between IR and visual, as you can see here. Okay, so here we are in the field, just doing our pre-flight checks, uploading to the drone, and take off. So you'll notice that um, we've got the standard picture up at the moment, but as shown earlier, you can switch this over to the uh, thermographic view as well. So we've sped this up slightly, just to take, take some time out. So it goes to its first point, camera goes to Nadir, and it starts its mapping run. As you can see, it was a very, it was a very small, short mission. It comes down to its first point. The drone should turn around, come back the other way. You can see the blue icon is all the photos being taken. That's both taking standard photos and thermographic photos. come down to this last point which will just leave it to get on with its mapping mission and we will continue so there we go that's all done now we're heading back to the office we're going to get that all uploaded and uh, see what sort of data we get now we're back in the office as you can see We've got our data uploaded and you can see here that we've got thermal images and we've got standard images so we can go through and you'll see each one of these images corresponds with an area on top of our structure that being the mill detailed over here where you can zoom out you can go through each the thermal images and they have corresponding standard images. Obviously we didn't take that many photos on this run as it's only a, only a demonstration of what's capable. But as you can see, it has mapped the mill. Obviously it was only a, a mapping mission, a 3D mapping mission, and we didn't take that many photos, but the data is there. So once you've got this data, you can obviously also process it. That's if you had if you had more data, you could process it. Actually, it's not worth processing this small amount of data. You can then you can share that data. So you can add an email address, or you can share the project externally. You can also report on that data. Obviously, to be able to report on that data you'd want to annotate your images, which as we've previously discussed, you can annotate 
by holding down shift. You can mark those up as severe or non-severe. You can add comments and tags. So there you go. I hope you've liked this video. If you do, give us a, give us a like, uh, drop a comment in the comments box below, and thanks very much for watching.